CKD, cyclic ketogenic diets, refeeds, carb loading, back loading. Do you need to add carbs back at some point when you're doing a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet? Do you really need to pound down that fruit for your red blood cells? Let's get into it. Welcome everyone to my very humble channel. Now let's get into the subject that people are so worried about being on a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet for the long term. Now it's very interesting. They're almost the same diet, but people will talk about carnivore like, oh, blah, 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 has done it 18 years. But if you do keto for 18 years, all of a sudden you're going to have all of these hormonal issues. Make it make sense. They're the same diet. One you eat plants or one you don't. But the point is to drive ketosis. That's what we want to do is drive ketones. The production of ketones. So you use ketones rather than glucose. Stabilize your blood sugar. Stop advanced glycation end product and damage of the cells through too high levels of blood sugar and wrecking your hormones by being in ketosis, which stabilizes your blood sugar. Y'all need to listen to me. You do not need to refeed on carbs at any point as long as you are in ketosis. And no, ketones do not make candida grow. This is just this garbage stuff that people come up with over the years that I've been coaching. No, in fact, your spore count goes down when you're in ketosis. Candida loves sugar, not ketones. No. Your red blood cells for your thyroid, you're going to go through gluconeogenesis. Your blood sugar is always going to spike within the first hour of eating. Into the second hour is when you test your blood sugar. First hour, insulin is always going to spike. People are testing their blood sugar at the wrong time. And then they're like, oh my God, you know, ketogenic diets are making my blood sugar spike. No, they're not. Your cortisol is, and that's it. You want your cortisol rhythm and your insulin rhythm to be in the right pace, in the right timing. You For your thyroid, you don't need carbs. Unless you are not in ketosis. If you're not in ketosis on a carnivore diet, you can wreck your thyroid. But I've done a million videos about that. And with all the people that I work with, I've seen it over and over again. Too much protein, not enough fat, eating friggin' fruit and bananas, calling it carnivore. What's the point? Why call it meat-based? Just say you're doing a low-carb diet. You don't have to be a cult zealot about carnivore. Y'all, the same thing has happened with ketogenic diets. People are just so obsessed and want to be belong, belong to these clubs when these diets are very individualistic depending on your gallbladder, blood sugar regularization, regularization, I speak, your insulin, your sleep, because you can become insulin resistant overnight and to the next day on poor sleep. People are still not getting up to eat. The Don's phenomenon is a glucose dump from the liver into your bloodstream. That is not normal especially doing low carb, what you guys go and Google and read about the Don's phenomenon, that's for carb people, not for no carb people or carnivore people or meat-based people or ketogenic people. When you have a dump of glucose in the morning before you wake up or when you wake up, that is somebody's got issues regulating their blood sugar and you can see that in your A1C and insulin and the blood sugar throughout the day. And you can see it on the fact that you're not losing weight. It's never ever about calories and it's always about how your hormones deal with the calories. Hormones, not the calories. These calories in, calories out, dinosaurs from the fitness industry still talk this way and they don't understand why they're aging so fast or why so many women who do fitness competitions, they blow out their thyroid and then they eat nothing and they can't get off the weight. 
online on YouTube, there was this video series like where trainers gained a bunch of weight to then lose a bunch of weight. And somehow it, it popped up on one of my, you know, explore pages. And this woman, she's really lean. And then she gains like 40 pounds and as a trainer, and then she's supposed to lose weight with the client so they can relate to losing the weight together. She couldn't get that last weight off. No, ma'am. The fasting, the over-exercising, the poor quality of food, the timing of the food, the low amounts of food, I could see that cortisol belly, right? The thyroid belly, trying to lose that weight. And still to this day, people in the fitness industry are not talking about thyroid disease developed from all of these crazy diets that they do and weight loss and fasting and over exercising and calories in calories out garbage you do not need to refeed on carbs or eat fruit unless you have hypoglycemia dysglycemia and it won't correct but really it's the gallbladder that's when you add carbs back and that's only maybe because you might be able to do an olive oil and then work on fixing the gallbladder meantime, then go back to the keto land or the high fat keto carnivore land. The other reason that people do carbs is because they are chronically dehydrated on these carnivore diets and still to this day, gurus are still throwing at you cheap element where they make you spend a lot of money for keto chow or whatever these complex factory made electrolytes electrolytes and they don't work at a woman she's like I'm taking this I'm taking that I'm still late cramping and then we sat down in this consultation we went through a whole day trying to find out if cortisol is down regulating her sodium is she not absorbing her sodium or magnesium the timing of that magnesium when gurus don't know what to say, they'll tell you, go buy the, go take this element thing. But what if it doesn't work? I get people who are like, I'm doing all these minerals and I'm so crampy, twitchy, nauseous, diarrhea from being dehydrated. And they're taking all the minerals and they're drinking a ton of water. These are people that might have to go off of a low carb diet and add the carbs back until they handle their sleep, stress, candida, falling off the wagon, these things will continue to keep the holes of your small intestinal wall nice and big and open. Dysglycemia, blood sugar all over the place. Some people will eat carbs and they instantly feel better. Some people will feel, eat carbs and they feel terrible. And you guys gotta decide which camp you're in. Some people are like, I can't do carbs. I get histamine. I get tired. I feel terrible. I have blood sugar crashes. And some people who are, who are hypoglycemia eat carbs and they feel better. They've got more energy. You got to know your own body and that's what it comes down to. But when you are fat adapted, you never have to eat carbs again. This, my people, is a myth. This is taught by people who don't know how to get into ketosis. That's what happened to Paul Saladino or some other doctors that say, you can't do keto for the long term. No, you can't do keto for the long term because you don't know what you're doing. You're following other gurus and other doctors that don't know what they're doing. I've been doing this for a long time. I worked with a woman who had seizures 25 a day who was working with John Hopkins Hospital and they put her on a ketogenic diet where she was eating a whole freaking chicken. I was like, girl, where's, where's the fat? She's like, it's in my cheese. I'm like, oh, that's inflammatory. Really? Mm -hmm. And then she was doing a ton of cardio. And the dietitians put her on this regimen. These are seasoned ketogenic doctors. Be very careful, my people. 
because people don't know what they're talking about. You have to work with people. How I know is through thousands of people and then drawing the lines together, like understanding why your blood sugar spikes an hour before, an hour in between when you first eat and then that two hour mark. If you hit the hour mark, blood sugar up. Yeah. Are you in ketosis? Are you losing ketones? I mean, make it make sense. Comment below. Share this content. Are you having a hard time keto adapting? Do you feel like you have to go off? Why are you eating fruit? Why are you listening to these ding-dongs eating meat and fruit? What planet are people on when they're doing this? Not the genetic modified fruit with so much fructose that goes into the liver and goes instantly in as triglycerides. Fruit eaters. Be very careful, my people. We're all individuals. And you might do keto, you might do carnivore, you might do low carb, high fat. Don't allow these people to convince you to do the one diet and then fast to get off the weight. Or eat sardines or whatever dumb OMAD thing that people have you do. I know. We're all different. Comment below. Share this content. My Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. And I'm out.